Steve Evans, uh, a very big result. Yeah, well, it's, it's a massive result. There's been there's been a lot of onus in the camp since the weekend. You can probably see me alpha to keep my distance from the from the players yesterday and more so today. Um, so we've uh, we asked them to go. I think first half was was just totally totally dominant. And I think if we get rewards for the energy and first half in about their box, we'd, we'd have the game, probably score more goals in this game than we scored in any other game all season, and probably all of them. And then second half, we, we had to dig in a little bit. The little breeze going down the pitch, that went against us. But listen, a, a goalkeeper, from my memory, has not made one save tonight. Not one save. And um, he's not come in and dealt with anything from set players or anything like that. So that's a team that... <coughs> As a team that's been tuned up recently in different places and, and playing really well under Danny. Um, but I, I really think the difference was evident for everyone to see. Jordan Roberts, that goal, that must have settled early. Any early nerves? Yeah, I think if anything, it probably brought a little bit of complacency into a play. You know, we'd made, I think we should probably score twice in the first five minutes. You know, Jake Taylor should should score a couple and, and we're unlucky when a couple of records. Jake does great, great energy to get in there. But then it falls to Robbo and we know what Jordan can do, so he sticks it in and, and then I think we just liked the second goal. We bounced out around their box and you know we never had enough care in that final little pass. And that, that left at one 0 at half time. But I think, you know, some big players managed that game for us in the in the second half and it and it, it took all of us to to get it over the line, none more so again. Support us, Hubs. Phenomenal tonight again. You know, Tuesday night and on the back of Saturday, we we understand that it's really tough to find money. So I, th I thank you to every man, woman, every child that's here. Thank you. Perhaps didn't have the luck in front of goal, but certainly work rate. I mean, was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, work rate was fantastic. I think we also. I think I think I'll be Santa before I get a penalty. You know, I think we've had three all season and, and it's been a soul or whatever it is to get them. I think there's a clear, I think it's Carl who has a strike. Or maybe Alex Gilby has a strike, but it's a, it's a clear handball. You see the you see the protests around and, and the claims, but I'm not, I'm not questioning the referee. Craig Hicks is a, an experienced official. In fact, when I seen him appointed, I was I was, I was smiling because I thought we've got a good guy here and he's a good guy because he, he calls normally the big decisions right. He didn't get that right, but he's, he's a good guy. Daylight now between the top three and everybody else, and a game in hand. Well, we we can't look at that. We just have to get focused to go to Mansfield. They've had a terrific result at Newport. You know, they're they're fighting for the same prize that we're fighting for with the resources they've got. They should be. Um, but we'll we'll re-energise the group. We'll see what we've got. We've we've asked boys to play tonight when reporting feeling ill, and they've gone out and they've played. So it's it's from our point of view, it's important we get them home and get them resting and and see who we've got available as we get towards the weekend. Everybody said that these two games, it was just essential to get the six points and you got them. Yeah, I think I said to the chairman for a number of weeks that, and I said to you boys, that when we went up to the likes of Hartlepool and Carlisle and these places, I, I thought it was essential that we they brought ourselves back down the road with the two back-to-back -back home games, still competing for a, for a chance of promotion, chance. And we've done that, but you know, and I know that the table could turn upside down on Saturday. So from so from our point of view, we, we know what it's going to take. It's going to take a, a monumental performance against a, a really good manager in Nigel, a passionate support that they are. More importantly, really good players. So but but we've got you know, we've got a good manager, we've got passionate supporters, we've got really good players. Um but we'll go there and we know how tough it's going to be because I've been manager at that football club and you know they're a special football club, especially with supporters behind you. You enjoying the ride? Yeah, of course, I must say. I've, I've been the journey, you know, and it's, um, I think the first thing you have to do is, if you take the passion of the game, you know, we're all involved in the game tonight and trying to coerce people into positions and shouting for decisions and, and different things. But I think the, the most important factor of it tonight is we, we got the three points. But I have to have an air of calmness about it. The boys were really pleased when they come in the dressing room. I basically said, listen, there's no big talks. Get in the show, get yourselves nice and cleaned off and, and get home to your beds, especially the boys that have been suffering, get plenty of fluids in and take the advice of the medical team and we'll see what all looks like tomorrow. Well, that's it. Thank you.